Hi, and welcome to Integrity Hi. Sales and Services. This morning, Dave and I are going to give you a nice video of a brand new 2011 32-foot Integrity Hopper trailer. Folks, I'm telling you, it's a nice chilly morning out here, and if you look in the video closely, you're going to see that a few snow flurries are falling. But I tell you what, um, it's nice and bright out here, and I think we can do a nice job under the circumstances. So let's start looking right at the square front of this trailer. Here you can see we have the standard features of the ladders and all the sealed light wiring junction box on the front. With that, I'm going to walk up close, and I'm going to let you see a very nice, thick, heavy-duty nose plate. We're looking at 3 8 plate, and it goes all the way back. You can see how the main square is. It's a huge plate compared to the competition. And take a look underneath here, folks. Here you're going to see a thing that you don't see very often. We have these floors over the wheels that keeps all the garbage out of the trailer from going up inside and rusting it out. You can see here it is all sealed. And you can see here where we have the hatch door. This is our access point to get up inside to paint and wire the trailer. With that, take a look at the heavy two-speed 50,000-pound landing gears. You can unload this sucker when it's loaded. Take a look. We have a real nice high-clearance hopper. We have about a 22-inch ground clearance with a real heavy-duty two-stage two door that's a double-track rack and pinion that cranks very nice, and we'll get to that in a moment. We'll actually do a demonstration for you. With that, let's take a look down along the passenger sidewall of the trailer. Now, folks, as you look down here, you can see we've built a lot of features into the trailer. One of the main features is, is that every panel is cut, butted up, and solid welded. There is no material on this trailer overlapping steel on steel. Everything is inserted, cut up, and solid welded. And what you're looking at is 12 gauge sides and 14 gauge on the hoppers and slopes. Again, Take a look. I'll walk up close and I'll point out what I'm telling you about. You can see on these sidewalls, they come up to the post, butt up, and are solid welded. And they meet to the inside of the beam on the bottom so that nothing can lay on the inside of the trailer and rust out. Okay, take a note. Nice 32-foot trailer. It's our most popular one due to the fact we have one hopper with two doors that crank away from each other. So that the standard size doors, there is a full divider in it and the doors open away from each other which allows you to dump from one stop. Now with that let's continue down the sidewall heading toward the back. You can take a look see we have a really nice air ride suspension. You can see what the tires look like. They got a little mud on them but very nice rubber. You can see all the new plumbing everything on the suspension. I'm telling you folks they make very nice trailers. Here in the back it gives you a chance to take a look at the braces that we run up underneath the slopes and again you can see we have the floor panels over the wheels on both sides across the suspension. No crap can get in there above the tires. Let's pop our head up in here and take a look. It's a little dark but you can see looking down at the top of the suspension and you can also see all the braces that run up and down and carry the weight from the slope down onto the suspension frame versus out on the sidewall of the tires. With that, let's continue on around to the back of the trailer. And at that point, I'm going to have Dave open the Sherlock tarp system for us so that we can get a real nice view of the inside of the trailer. And it is the only trailer built like this with a one hopper, two door system that features the one stop dump. And folks, I'm telling you, we have over a thousand trailers out. Um, since I've been involved in the trailer business and we have built probably about 60 percent of this style trailer. So what I'm telling you is it's a very popular design. Here you can see we have a stainless steel crank and pipe in the tarp and uh, I'm going to hop up the ladder and get you a nice view of the bow. Just leave that open a second Dave. I'm going to climb up the ladder and open it all the way up for me please. And I'm going to get up the ladder and give you a look at the inside of the trailer. We have a little snow on everything, so we're going to go slow and be careful. Now, as I come up on top, folks, you can see what I was telling you. You're looking in the back hole of the hopper. There's the full center divider, and then you can see further up we have the front compartment. However, there's no space between the doors. You can dump it from one stop. Each, each compartment will hold approximately 450 to 480 bushels. Um, if you heap it up, you can get 1,000 bushel of corn on it. Take a look at the tarp bow structure, folks. I'm telling you, they're built like a truss in your building system. They are not just a hoop to hold up your tarp. They play a major factor in the strength of the trailer, holding the side rails perfectly straight with each other. Okay, with that, I'm going to climb down, and we'll continue around the trailer and get the video all done for you here. 
Okay, let's come up along the driver's side. You can notice on this trailer, since it's an air ride suspension, we have a suspension dump valve built into it so that if you're unloading very rapidly and cranking both doors open at the same time, you can deflate your bags so that you don't have an issue with uh, rupturing your air ride bags. Take a look walking up the side. We have the nice aluminum bumpers along the top rail so that when the tarp comes over, it's not going to knock the paint off the side of the trailer. Now let's go ahead and have Dave crank the doors open and I'll give you a demonstration here on how the doors open away from each other. So here's the front door opening forward. That's good. And then he's going to do the back door and you can see it opens to the rear. These so are very open, easy uh, access. Um, I can turn it easily with one hand. It'll turn the same way when it's loaded. Just a really nice feature. Okay, with that we're going to move on forward and take a note, we have the two speed landing gears here, high and low range. You can unload with these dollies down loaded and not worry about the trailer settling down on you or not being able to crank it back up. If you put her in low gear, you can crank it up loaded. All right, folks, that brings us back around to the front of the trailer. You can see here we have the standard features of the ladder, and we had that in the back as well. What you're seeing on this trailer is standard equipment, and this particular model, folks, is all built out of 409 stainless steel sheet metal. So what you're seeing here is every panel on every piece of sheet metal in this trailer is all 409 stainless. It will never rust out. The only thing that's steel on them is the tubular frame structure, which I can't buy in stainless. But that's not your problem with rust. It's always been the sheet metal, and that is what's all 409 stainless. So please give us a call. We'd be happy to quote one for you, and we're very positive that we have a product here that is superior to everyone else's, and we'll be happy to explain that to you, why we feel that way. So please give us a call, and thank you very much for shopping Integrity Sales and Services.